Hi guys, one question that I get asked often is how to erase a hard drive on Mac or how to delete partitions on a Mac hard drive. So I've decided I'm going to make a little video about this to show you guys how to erase partitions, how to format your hard drive in 2019 on OS Mojave, the latest operating system. So behind me here I have got a Mac Pro and uh, I'm going to delete some partitions and I'm going to erase a hard drive on it. So let's begin. So on my Mac Pro here, uh, I'm just going to go and show you about my Mac. As you can see, this is the overview of it. But what you have up here is a storage tab. And if I select the storage tab, it shows you free hard drives and it shows you loads of our partitions that are actually on my Mac as well. So as you can see here, I've got a solid state drive and I have got two three terabyte hard drives. Now, the solid state drive I'm going to leave alone for this video, and the same with this hard drive one. Um, but this other one here, which says partition one, two, and three, is what we're going to play with. Uh, like I said, because I've got a Mac Pro, you can plug in more hard drives into this actual model. This is the models that were made as the cheese grater models, they're known as, and these were made up to 2012. So, if you want to have a quick view of what hard drives you've actually got installed and the size of them inside your actual Mac, this is the best place to go to. I'd recommend um, to the, going to this tab and having a look. Well, let's close this down. Now, to actually play around with um, the hard drives and delete partitions and delete the hard drive data, we need to use a app called Disk Utility. Now, the best way to find this, in my opinion, is going to your spotlight up in the corner up here and you can see I've already started typing it in but it is disk utility and what we're going to do is we're going to select that and now we have all the hard drives down the side now you might have noticed something straight away here I just showed you guys there were three hard drives but looking at this I've got one two three four five six and that's a bit confusing um, to a lot of people to go, well, I've got three hard drives and now suddenly I've got six. Why is this? Now, the reason why I'll tell you this, it displays like this is because of this view up here. By default, this is the view you'd get, something like this. But if you actually want to see what partitions belong to which hard drives, all you have to do is go to the view and then click on Show All Devices. And now you can see that we have one, two, three hard drives, and these sub kind of hard drives are inverted in slightly. These are the partition hard drives. These are the ones that are created. And the best way to do this is if I select this hard drive here, can you see you've got partition one, two, and three? One, two, three. If I select the view back again to show all devices, it disappear. So let's go back onto show all devices again. So say now you wanted to delete a partition, let's say partition number one here. What we do is we'd select it, and then we go to the partition button again. And then as you can see partition one here, we click the minus button. And by doing that, you can see partition three has doubled in size and partition two is still there. And what we do is we click apply. And it would say that partition one's going to be removed and we'll click partition. And as you can see now, we have two. And if I change the view back again, now there's five. I'm just going to put it back again. And we'll set the hard drive again. You can see partition three here, two terabytes. Partition two, it's just under one terabyte. So let's say then we actually wanted to get rid of partition two as well. And we wanted everybody, to, everything to fall back into partition three. So again, we'd go to partition, select partition two, Press erase and you can see everything's going to be back to normal the way it was. And we'll click apply. I'm going to click partition. And there we go. As you can see here now, there's only one remaining. Now, on here, if we wanted to erase just the partition, so everything that's inside the partition, we click the erase button. And then we could call it whatever we wanted to. So let's call it this because it is a 3 terabyte hard drive, 3 terabyte HD2 and we could click Erase 
and that's erasing right now. But what this is erasing, it is not erasing the actual hard drive, it's only erasing the partition that is with inside that actual hard drive. For us to actually delete everything off the hard drive, this is why this view was so important to select show all devices, we'd have to select the actual device, then click erase. Now let's say we wanted this to be actually an XFAT format. So these are all the different Mac formats you can put onto your machine. So APFS is the new type of format, uh, what High Sierra and above use, that's High Sierra, Mojave and the new Catalina will be using. Mac OS Extended journaled was what was being used for majority of the time now for a good sort of 10-15 years now. And here you've got some old kind of sort of Windows formats and kind of like memory card formats. So let's say I wanted to make this XFAT. We'd select that and then we could change the name of what we wanted to call the hard drive. Now the actual WDC name here will not change. What will actually happen is a brand new partition will be made but it will erase the whole hard drive on it. So what we want to call it this time, let's call it uh, 3 terabyte. XFAT drive. Oh, D, that will do. <laughs> so we're going to click Erase. And again, what it's doing now is erasing the whole hard drive. And there we go. We click Done. And it has now created it. So if you guys ever need to delete your hard drive or if you ever need to delete partitions and to be honest if you ever need to create partitions you go into the create partition tool here and you can just add an extra partition however there is a little factor you might have noticed the plus is missing and the reason for that is because we're still in XFAT you would actually have to change the format of this drive to Mac OS Extended to make that to work well guys, I hope you found that helpful and uh, now you know what to do with your hard drive on your Mac. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please do press the like button down below. I do really, really appreciate that. At the same time as well, I make loads of guides and tips and also I review old Macs that can still be used in 2019. I also do it for iOS devices. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys actually subscribe to my channel here. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. See ya! Bye.